Hey everyone, Kyle at Prolux here. We've been getting some inquiries from customers regarding tool placement inside a garage vacuum tool caddy. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys where the tools go. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I went ahead and screwed the tool caddy to this plywood, which has our Prolux sign on it. I just did a screw in each corner, usually you want to put a screw and then hang the handle on it, but this way it's not going to be moving as I put the tools inside the tool caddy. So here's all the tools. You might be thinking, how do all these tools fit in that tool caddy? Well, they do. There is no right or wrong way. A lot of people just make them fit. Um, I'm just going to show you guys my way of doing it. So, All right, so we're going to start off with the two extension wands. On the left side, there's going to be three long pockets. The middle one is going to be for something else, so use the left and right side to put the wands in. I'm just going to slide those in. Don't force them all the way down, just so they're snug. The next tool is going to be this longer crevice tool. So that's just going to go in the middle. So now we have a couple straps to use, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets. Again, there is no right or wrong way to put the tools in the tool caddy, but this is just how I do it. So the two pockets up top in the middle, there's gonna be a little strap. That's where I'm going to put the crevice tool. There we go. Now we're gonna do these little inflator tips. Probably put those on a pocket up top here. Okay. Next we have the upholstery tool. Put that in the pocket, other pocket up top. So now we have the two extension wands, these super long crevice upholstery tool, actual crevice tool, and then flare tips already installed. Um, then we have the duster brush, and the duster brush I'm gonna put in the pocket right here. You know, we're gonna put the duster right there. There we go, we're gonna put in the, kind of like the middle row, right pocket. Okay, and now we have this large floor tool, which we're gonna put right there. And now we have the combination floor tool which I'm going to just set in the bottom pocket. Here we have the mini turbo. Mini turbo, let's see. Okay, so I put the mini turbo in front of the combination floor tool, and then I put the combination floor tool inside the strap. The last one we have is this handheld shampooer or blower. I'll move the floor tool to this middle strap. I'm gonna push it up. All right, let me show you guys what I'm doing here. Okay, so I had the floor tool in this strap. I moved it over and just tucked it in this pocket down here. And then the last tool we have is the combination, which I think I'm going to put in this strap right here where the floor tool was. Okay, so every single tool is inside the tool caddy. We'll start with the wands. Again, the wands go in these deeper pockets. Put one on the left side, one on the right side, and in the middle, I did this longer crevice. Atop, the upholstery tool just sits in this top pocket. Crevice tool goes through the strap, and then the tip sits in this pocket. In this pocket up here, we got the little inflator tips. Below the inflator tips, we have the duster brush. And then here we have the handheld shampooer, which is held in by this strap. And then below that is the mini turbo floor tool. I just put it in this pocket right here. All right, and then this other strap 
to the left of the floor tool has a combination floor tool. So that's what it looks like. Again, this is just how I do it. You can make the tools fit whichever way you want them to fit. But again, all the tools will fit in the tool caddy. I also see a lot of our customers with pictures they post for reviews. Um, if you have a tool that's, I don't know, not fitting right in the tool caddy, you can just put it on the hose and let the hose hang over the hose hanger. But that's how I did it. Again, you guys can do it which way, whichever way you want to, but that is just a general idea. If you guys have any questions, you can email us at service at I'm Kyle Prolux, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.